Welcome everyone to Agro Suede Back Kid Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. In this video feature, I'm going to actually show you or give you an update, a long awaited update on growing the tamarind tree in a pot. This is the tamarind tree right here. The tamarind tree was much bigger than that, and I do apologize that I did not take a picture of the tamarind tree before I pruned it last month. I should have done so, and for that, I do apologize. This tamarind tree have actually been through quite a lot. During the passage of Hurricane Maria, the tamarind tree was in the pot and the hurricane basically toppled the pot over and most of the branches broke on the tamarind tree. So the reason why I actually had to go ahead and prune the tamarind tree again is to get that equal and even growth going up at the top there. Because it was basically growing on one side only because of the fact that during the hurricane when it fell, one part of the tree fell to the ground and it broke. So it was growing out on one side. I will also show you the branches which were growing out on one side so that you could understand better how this happened. The tamarind tree have been growing in a pot for about three years now. I believe I planted it in April 2016. And you might be saying, have it started to flower yet? It actually flowered, but it never brought fruit. It flowered at the ending of 2017. That, that is the same year of Hurricane Maria. It actually flowered, but it did not bring fruit. And I think it's because of the fact that we had the water shortage because it's growing in a pot and it is meant to be in the ground and it is meant to be a massive tree so it's demanding a lot of water and because of the passage of Hurricane Maria we had a quite a shortage of water and I had to sacrifice giving myself water and my family water over the plant now I could get river water for it but I was very busy in the community as this hurricane just passed so the tree was alive but it was not thriving so basically after Maria till about uh, March in 2018 it was just basically surviving but it wasn't thriving so I decided I'm gonna give it a go again and I'm gonna take care of it to see if I can get it to flourish with leaves and then so that it could flower I'm still doing the same thing as I always promote when it comes to growing plants in a pot I'm giving it a lot of organic fertilizer a lot of compost chicken manure to ensure that it grows well I went ahead and I had it pruned before full moon last month that is in the month of February so I went ahead and I pruned it and right now we are basically three days before full moon full moon I believe is on the 21st or the 20 sorry the 20th or the 21st of March um, but what happened although I went ahead and pruned this up there it still have a lot of leaves basically shooting out from the stem of the plant and you'll get a closer view I am not going to actually prune it I'm simply just going to break off all the extra growth right there because I want the plant to grow out like this as you can see I have it at my height that's the height I would like it to stay and for it to flourish outwards and become a nice tree so I'm just gonna give you a closer view on the plant and explain what was going on in the plant where I pruned it you'll see where I pruned it and so on and so forth again I do apologize that I did not have updated pictures of it before I pruned it last month let's go ahead okay guys so I will start at the base to go upwards as you can see um, I'm not giving the plant water for the day but I did wet it last night the soil is still pretty moist um, it's not too heavy although it's the plant itself is a heavy plant but the pot is not too heavy if you remember um, when I actually planted the tamarind tree in the pot I showed you the technique to allow the pot to remain light so I did not fill the pot with sand but yes still you can clearly see or you will see at the top how the plant is still doing pretty well so you do not have to fill your pot with uh, soil for it to do good you just need to ensure that you have the right balanced soil or content in the soil to allow the plant to thrive well so I just want to show you guys something here the soil is very compact but it's very easy to break that's the root system which remains on top it do not go below because remember if you watch the video I will also put a little clip for you two guys to see first thing we need is a big 10 to 20 gallon capacity planting pot I am filling it with gravel first to stimulate root pruning in order to prevent the tambin tree roots from getting in contact with the earth. I am now adding small pebbles to prevent the soil from running off through the coarse gravel spaces. I am now adding in coconut fiber or as it's known cocoa pith. This will help to retain moisture and also to feed the living organisms as it decomposes. I 
I will now add river sand between the coconut fiber or cocoa pea. After all this has been done, it's now time to transplant the tandem seedling into the planting pot. I will now add topsoil mixed with compost and organic manure into the planting pot. Ensure that the planting pot is seated on a rocky or hard concrete surface to prevent the plant roots from getting in contact with the ground which might cause it to grow roots into the soil. And if this happens, this will defeat the entire purpose of planting the tree in a planting pot. Wet your plant once a day or every two days and add compost material or organic material to the topsoil to feed the plant and living organisms. And there it is. I did not fill the pot with soil all the way to the base. Okay, so the soil is mainly about half of the top of the container. Sadly, I did not leave a lot of space to add compost, but it's okay. This tree is doing pretty well. It's not a tree that demands a lot of nutrients because it's a strong tree. Now, if you look at the structure of the tamarind tree right now, you can see that it has that beautiful structure. Okay, it's well grounded, well earthed, well, well potted earthed. Um, in here and it's doing pretty well sadly I'm going to have to remove the leaves as I'm going up but I want to show you guys where I pruned it I pruned it right here okay so I just had the camera adjusted for you guys so I pruned it right here well uh, sorry here it goes again so I pruned it here in February and uh, as you saw it had a new shoot coming out uh, it, here it is sending other shoots I'm going to remove it as we're going up because I don't want it to send out shoots on the end. Here's another place where I pruned it. Can you see it here? Gonna have it removed again. I understand that you're like, oh gosh, but I have to have it pruned. There were existing growth or at this point. Look at this. There's look at how small it is, but there's a branch trying to come out right here. Can you see it? That's amazing. The terminal tree is just amazing. I know I know you guys might not be too happy but I have to remove it I don't want the plant going crazy <laughs> I want the plant to focus on um, only the top now the good thing about it is that we are still approaching full moon so by doing this this will just cause the plant to mainly send out a lot more shoot at the top or to focus a lot more on the new shoots it's sending at the top okay all of this this was one of the biggest branches so if you notice it had a big branch right here and it had a big branch right here which is what I was basically essentially telling you the plant fell in such a way that this was the point on which it fell so it had some branches surviving still if you look here you can see allow me to see if you can see it right here you can see where it had an old old branch from long ago it had something growing here can you see it this is where the tree fell so this branch right here broke off here's another one very very old very old here is another one so you guys are seeing that I'm telling the truth the tree fell on that side so when it fell all of these branches broke off during the hurricane so the tree mainly had no growth on that side I had growth focused on that side but I had to prune it so all of this will come out I just want to ensure that it have no branches none whatsoever on this entire length i will go ahead and give it extra compost material but as you can see it do not demand a lot so here we come to the top of the plant right here was one of the biggest branches so basically because the tree fell on the other side it that side was really growing out a lot so i had a big big branch right here it was huge it was actually huge but ugly because it had only leaves on one side of the plant or branches and i did not like this so what i did allow me to get a chair to be higher for you guys okay so this is a bit better okay so as you can see i had to prune off the top also right here i had to cut the top of the tree so that the tree could stop growing upwards and i've got three small branches i had remaining this branch right here this branch right here and also this branch allow me to see if you could see it this branch right here these were the three branches I decided since it have three branches and they're all like you know evenly spaced um, except this side there sadly there's basically a lot of space between this branch right here and this branch nonetheless um, it still have that 
equal spacing so I decided I'm just gonna leave these two branches right here and then prune the edge of the branches here also you can see just a moment here I pruned the edge of the branch and this one also I went ahead and I pruned the edge of it so that it could force out new branches on the same branches and the tree basically just for I meant sent out a lot of shoots so it sent out a lot on the all on the along the stem but the good thing is that now that I've gone ahead and removed the branches while oh here's one that was growing by mistake I don't want it here no I only want them on the branches okay so we're good I only want them to send new leaves or new growth on the branches themselves so now that the tree have realized that I went ahead and I pruned off the other branches that were growing along the main stem it will focus on the next four days on sending out a lot more leaves at the top here or pushing the new branches out a bit more so this is just my process of taming my tamarind tree which I am growing in a pot I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video and remember guys since full moon is approaching on the 20th or the 21st if you have plants that you would like to transplant plants which are very sensitive they're dying the best time to transplant them is full moon because the plant is going to focus on root growth so the plant will recover better when you transplant a weak plant on full moon or at least a day after full moon okay so the plants can focus on root growth to recover so as I'm saying this I will soon be transplanting my sour sub tree possibly on the um, evening of full moon and I'll try my best to do a video for you guys and um, but you'll see till next Sunday possibly thank you so very much for subscribing of course to so Agrosuit Backyard Garden and guys remember a backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away and Agrosuit is out